taking a look at one of the most exciting camera releases from the last couple of years, the new Fujifilm GFX 100 Mark II. This thing is nuts. It does 100 megapixels, medium format, does 8K IMAX ready video, among a ton of other amazing new features that Fuji's packed into this guy. So I'm super excited to get talking about it. So why don't we switch to it so you can see what the video looks like off of it while we talk about some of the amazing use cases for this great new camera. All right, super quickly, before we switch over to the GFX for our main angle here from our usual Sony camera, uh, I did want to mention that this is not going to be a super in-depth technical review of the camera. If you did want an overview of the specs, they're right here. And if you wanted a really in-depth technical video on this camera, David from the studio over at MKBHD made a fantastic video a couple of weeks ago. The link to that will be down in the description below. So instead today, we're going to be talking more so in broader terms about the use cases that we think this camera would be applicable for and how you might be able to benefit from this monster of a camera. All that being said, let's switch to it right now. That was probably a terrible transition, I'll be honest. <laughs> the background is different, the camera and lens are different. Whatever, we're shooting on the GFX now. Hey, uh, Editor Spencer here. Uh, just wanted to quickly mention that the focus in this video shifts back and forth a whole lot. That is because I left it in continuous face tracking and didn't change any of the settings from the camera out of the box. So the, the focus does shift quite a bit. It is a little distracting, I apologize. Uh, but I did want to give you a realistic test of what the camera will perform like straight out of the box. Uh, I'm sure you can dial the settings in a little bit better to get less shifty jittery focus, but just a heads up, the remainder of the video might shift back and forth a little bit. Okay, back to the video. And there are really two main categories in which this camera differentiates itself from previous medium format models. One being that it is a full on digital cinema camera, more on that in a second. And the other is that it's sort of bridging the gap between full frame and traditional medium format bodies. Let's talk about how. On the left here is traditional full frame cameras like the Nikon Z9, the Canon R5, or any model that you can think of really. And on the right is medium format cameras. So like the GFX 50R or the 50S or any of those guys. And that middle ground where there's a little bit of overlap between both body types, I think is exactly where this camera slots itself in. So it's not gonna be as fast as the fastest full frame cameras for sports and wildlife shooting, but it can do up to eight frames a second burst with a slight loss in image quality, but order of magnitude faster than previous medium format bodies. It can still do studio portraiture as beautifully as other medium format cameras, but it can now do it outside the studio, so you don't necessarily have to be locked down on a tripod with a barely moving subject. You can shoot things that are a little bit quicker on it. So I think it bridges the gap nicely between full frame and medium format, and it's only gonna get better as time goes on. This is certainly a really big step in the right direction, but I still don't think you'll be shooting high intensity sports on something like this, nor would you really want to. This is a big, cumbersome, heavy camera that is still best suited for studio work and landscapes, but you can now get away with other types of photography with it being so much faster, with better autofocus and better image stabilization and all of the amazing improvements that Fuji's made to it. And to go back to what I said up top about this being a professional video tool, it has everything and more that most modern filmmakers could need. It's got quicker and better autofocus. It's got 8K recording. It's got uh, a whole bunch of different crop factors and lens support for alternate lens types like anamorphic lenses with de-squeezing internally. All of these features individually aren't that impressive. 8K video has been around for a while and 4K 120 has been around for even longer. 10-bit 422 has been ubiquitous on cameras since 2015, but it's the fact that they've packed all of those features and a medium format sensor into a body of this size and this price that has me blown away. To put it into perspective, the only other large format camera, so a video camera with a sensor larger than full frame that I can think of right now is the Arri Alexa LF. And that camera is so ostentatiously expensive that you can't even buy it. You have to rent it from Aerie. So the fact that a camera with pretty well the same features and image quality that is far and away better than anything else I've ever tested for $10,000, 
gets me really, really excited for the future of low budget indie films or even just studio films being able to be more creative with cameras that are this small with this amazing quality. Now it still isn't gonna be an amazing camera for event videos or wedding filmmaking because those cameras have to be really fast with really good autofocus. And they're not quite there yet, but this is absolutely a step in the right direction from Fuji, and I can't wait to see where the future might take us in terms of professional cinema quality video in cameras that fit in your hands. I couldn't be more excited than I am about all the features on this one. Uh, if, if you couldn't tell already, I'm definitely more of a video nerd than I am about photos. All that to say, the GFX 100 Mark II is an amazing video camera. All right, I gotta stop myself because I could keep going about this thing for hours. I've already been at this for well over an hour. This video is gonna be ridiculous to edit. So TLDR, what's my one sentence thoughts on this camera? It has me incredibly excited for the future and it's incredibly evident to me now what Fuji's game plan has been. They were very adamant a few years ago about not developing a full frame system and instead putting all of their research and development into medium format. And that's really starting to pay off. Not only is this an incredible video camera, but it improves upon a lot of the shortcomings of previous medium format bodies. And just overall leads me to believe that it's only a matter of years now until we see medium format cameras that are just as ubiquitous and just as performant as their full frame contemporaries. I think that's a good sentiment to end it on. So props to Fuji for putting out such an amazing camera that is now the new benchmark for hybrid shooters. If you're a pro studio photographer or a pro filmmaker you definitely want to check this thing out so thank you so much for watching stick around to the end of the video if you want to see some sample images and sample videos off of this guy as always check all the links in the description for all of the information i talked about in today's video leave us a like if you liked it a dislike if you didn't subscribe if you want to see more videos from us and thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next one so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and enable notifications. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at McBain Camera, and visit us online at www.mcbaincamera.com.